We are in the kitchen with Chef Jess Thomas. Thank you so much for coming in. It's good to be here. You're not cooking today. I, I pre-cook. Yes. And okay. part of it is I want you to see how simple this dish is. Okay. It's Memorial Weekend. People are doing cookouts, and either you're asked to bring something or you're hosting. And you so, don't want to spend all of your time in the kitchen. Exactly. Right? Yeah. This dish is perfect because it only has a few ingredients. You can do it two days ahead of time, oh. and it's really simple to make. Okay. okay. So it's um, garlic potatoes. So if you went to Spain and had tapas, this is patatas alioli, which is different from aioli. Alioli is garlic and oil, and it's emulsified, but I'm showing you the the shortcut home version. Okay. So and we got the get... Italian lesson too. Yes. Bonus. I love that. <laughs> so we've got potatoes and we've already diced them. You want to finish off dicing these and all you have to do is dice them and put them in there. Okay. This is the garlic and some people are afraid of garlic mm -hmm. and so they buy the bottled garlic or garlic powder. The, don't be afraid. Which I do. I buy the garlic. <laughs> bottled yeah. I do garlic. use yeah. it occasionally but for this dish, I mean if you're not going to do something elaborate, might as well go the extra mile for this okay. one. Because you really can taste a, a difference. Right? There is a difference, okay. yeah. Count me there. So, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So you take your garlic, cut off the end and so that way it's not in your way. Then you smash it Okay. Wow. Yeah, if you got some muscles there. Or if you <laughs> let have, out some aggression. Yes. <laughs> Either one. Um, so then you throw away your peel and then you take this and you kind of go to the side. I've always wondered how to do this, okay? Wow. Then oh, you just God. chop it up. You're brave also. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> After chopping it up multiple times. Because you want it really fine, like right. the. You want it fine, but then it. you're going to make your own version of garlic paste. What I have here is half a teaspoon of kosher salt and it's coarse. Okay. So you actually take that and put it on on top of your garlic that's okay. already chopped up and continue to work it in. Okay. What it does is it releases the oils from the garlic so you get ah. more flavor out of it, but it also helps with the texture as it breaks it down. Interesting, um, okay. And then the other ingredients that go to this are uh, mayonnaise, mm -hmm. and so that's half a cup of mayonnaise, and then I've got some chopped fresh parsley. So this is all you do. You take this, you put it in your um, bowl here, Thank you. And yeah, it's kind of sticky, so you have to <laughs> spatula mm -hmm. it out. Okay. That's you want to get it all in there, so you don't want to waste it. This oh, is yeah. one of those dishes that everybody is going to ask you for the recipe because <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Put in your parsley and your mayonnaise. And if you want to stir that up. So it's the full fat mayonnaise. Yeah. You can do, actually, I've done it with the light. The garlic is so strong in there mm -hmm. that it overpowers it. Now, some people get nervous about uh, mayonnaise-based dishes right. because of health concerns. The mayonnaise, especially commercially made mayonnaise, mm -hmm. has such a, um, an acidity that it kills all bacteria. It's your potatoes you have to worry about. Okay. Oh, okay. And so, thank you. In? Just throw those okay. in. That's mm -hmm. it. And then um, all you have to do is serve it at room temperature. But if you're not going to eat it within two hours, then put it back in the fridge but like I said it, it, two days and then it'll keep and it just gets more and more flavorful um, and yeah it's perfect to take with you anywhere awesome. you go so that is that is my contribution for cookout Yummy. weekend well and you said that everyone's going to want the recipe so we're yes. going to put it online mm -hmm. at wbir.com so in time to use it for this weekend for any festivities yep. you have and also it's, I'll put it on my website also okay. and if people are looking for a personal chef this is something as a personal chef I can make ahead of time because I cook for a client for like a full week right and this is something they can eat three days in a row because it's it's gonna actually it won't last that long because it's that good and what's your website they it's soulfoodweebly.com okay soulfoodpersonalchefweebly.com it'll be on the website <laughs> and she makes delicious food and has great recipes so thank, thank you. you so much for coming yeah, on a wonderful just, option for your you. um, all your cookouts yes thanks. it's gonna be great thank yeah. you yeah have a good weekend you too all right, we've made our way to the kitchen. One of our favorites, Jess Thomas, a soul food personal chef. And she's here to make uh, a sweet potato, but this isn't just any old sweet potato. No, I'm calling this soul food sweet potato. Soul food's the name of my personal chef business. But part of it is like it's nurturing you, right? It's a new time of the year. Everybody's trying to get healthy. Uh -huh. And so sweet potatoes are a great way to put something in your diet that's nutritious, but still make it tasty. Yeah. And so this is something I would do with uh, my clients. I take I a sweet this. potato. Uh -huh. um, I just bake it 400 degrees and for an, about an hour. And then you just take it and you split it in half. You scoop out the middle. So I've got one scooped out there, but it's really easy. You just scoop it and 
um, after you scooped all of it, this is a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. not too much. Um, and then you put your egg. And then how strong are you, Russell? Uh, I'm usually uh, generally one of the stronger men yeah, yeah. Uh, that you'll come, come across. Can you, can you match that? Oh, wow, I can't do that. Can you handle it? Man, you can, you can put that muscle Beth to usually you. does this part. Um, yeah. not, not as neat. So, right, so you just mash this You in. just mash that up. Okay. Um, and if we did all of it, it would come out to about six sweet potatoes, make um, eight, uh, sorry, eight, yeah, eight servings. So then you would have it. Oh, gross. I wouldn't do that. that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so Roll now. So Cousin Eddie. You could just take a spoon and just scoop it in here, but I find that to be messy. So what you could do is just put it in a normal Ziploc bag. Oh, and cut the tip. And just cut or the decorate tip. Decorate in a cake. Right? Yes. Yeah. Do you decorate many cakes? No. No. I can, though. Yeah. I can. And then it doesn't really matter how pretty it is to start with because the point is to just get it in there so it's not like all over the place. Um, when you do that, then you put it in your uh, baking sheet or like a Pyrex, and you bake it um, for about half an hour at 400 degrees, and it comes out like this. And what I have here, this is bacon candy. Oh, so no. never even heard of that. I'm gonna have to try I, it though. Can I? I didn't invent it, but I could have. Want to buy? What? Sure. What's in there? Sugar. Bacon fat crunchy. and bacon. That's all that's in there. Mm. So you just cook your bacon till it's crunchy. Get out. Oh, that's good. <laughs> get out the um, tablespoon of fat, a third cup of sugar. Cook it all together till it's like caramel colored, and that's it. And then let it cool in a cookie sheet. Break it up, and then you will see I put it as a garnish um, on your baked potato. Oh, so yeah. this right, way you can have like a little bit, but it's not like yeah overwhelming. Right. So it's still healthy. Let me ask you this. Go ahead. You're, you are. Well sought after as a personal chef, but you do have like an opening right now. Yes. And so last time I was on the show, somebody called and asked where my restaurant was. I don't have a restaurant. I just come to your house. Yeah. And I cook for you. Yeah. And then what's even better is I do my dishes from pots and pans of cooking. So all you do is you open your fridge, freezer, and you've got like homemade fresh food that's waiting yeah. for you. And you do meals for every day of the week? I, if I do a cook date, I come to your house and cook one week's worth of meals. Yeah, okay. And so it depends on how quickly you eat them, if they last, you know, the whole week. Generally, your food's eaten pretty quickly. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I've yeah. noticed that. But it's mostly people who are trying to be healthy. They yeah. want... But you Better make it food. taste good, which which I love as well. And there is the website right there, right? Everything good there? Everything's good there. And you can go to um, Weebly.com, it should be. But you can go to Facebook, Instagram, and just look Soul Food, a personal chef service. And this is the kind of food I make for you, which is not super fancy and super unhealthy, but just really tasty and good for you. Awesome. Well, great to see you as always. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for coming on. Thanks so much for having and me. She's a pretty nice person. Too. Aww, she thank you. you. All right. <laughs>